वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे वील रिवाइज नरेशन विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट नरेशन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज रिपोर्टेड स्पीच दिस टॉपिक विल बी डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट्स एंड हियर वी हैव पार्ट वन नाउ बिफोर वी प्रोसीड इट इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो वॉट इज डायरेक्ट स्पीच एंड वॉट इज इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच See there are two different ways in which we can report the words of a speaker if a speaker says something so there are two different ways of expressing that first one is direct and second one is indirect uh, we'll understand this with the help of an example if i write he said my father has a business okay if i write this sentence has a business okay so here what i have done i have quoted the actual words of the speaker my father has a business these are his words okay and i have quoted the exact words inside commas and inverted commas commas and inverted commas this is the direct thing this is the direct speech same sentence or the same information if i pass in another way okay like if i say he said that now as i am talking about his father so i'll write his father that his father had a business okay now what i have done here i have what have exactly i have done uh, here i have given the substance of the speaker's actual words not the exact words here the meaning of both of these sentences this one and this one is same but here what i have done here i have quoted the speaker's actual words that my father has a business and here i have given the exact information but not exact words and this is called indirect speech now comes the rules so when we talk of the rules first and foremost comes the verb form change or the tense change this is also called as tense change so when it comes to tense change then all the present tenses of direct speech change to the past tenses in indirect speech all the present tenses indirect speech if they are given when we are changing these sentences into indirect speech they will change to all the past tenses for example if i talk of simple present then simple present changes into simple past if i talk of present continuous then it changes into past continuous and if i talk of present perfect it goes to past perfect and if i talk of present perfect continuous then it goes to past perfect continuous but there are a few exceptions let us see that what exceptions are that if reporting verb is in the present or future tense here we got a new term okay let's go back and let us see what re re uh, reporting verb is i'm writing a sentence here if i write here she uh, says i will call you okay this is a sentence she says i will call you so if we look here then this sentence has been divided into two parts first part is outside the inverted commas and second part is inside the inverted commas okay so the part of the sentence in direct speech this is direct speech or direct narration the part of the sentence which is outside the comma and inverted comma here this is called as reporting verb okay this part is known as reporting verb and the part which is inside or at the right side this is called as reported speech 
okay this is called as as reported speech now we come to the exception uh, in rule which we were talking about if reporting verb it means this one if reporting verb is in the present or future tense if here it is in present or future tense the tense of the verb in reported speech means will call will not change okay this is the first thing first exception here is if reporting verb is in the present tense or future tense then the verb in reported speech will not change okay we'll see this with the help of an example see here this first example radha says okay this is our reporting verb so here what we see this is present tense says so what according to the first rule it is that if it is in present tense then tense inside this will also not change so the sentence becomes radha says here that comma and inverted comma becomes that here radha says that she is a famous model okay i am a famous model it became she is a famous model see tense here it the here it is am it is also present tense here it is is this also is present tense okay now we go to the exception number 2 it says universal truth habitual facts and historical facts do not change their tenses okay see here exception number exception rule number 2 here she said face is the index of mind okay here it is past but inside here it is present but it seems like universal truth or the fact face is the index of mind so when we are changing it into indirect speech see what it is here she said that face is the index of mind as it is it is written okay as you were told that all the present tenses change into past tenses but there is no change because here we are talking about some fact which is believed by people okay now we go to the third one exception in third rule the third exception says if two such actions are given in reported speech means the one which is outside if two such facts are given in the reported speech which take place at the same time the reporting uh, the same time the simple past or the past continuous tense does not change it means if two actions which are being talked about they are taking place at the same time and they are given in either simple past or in past continuous then their tense will not change let us see how it is here in the third one the sentence in front of us is he said mohan was singing a song while gopal was playing on a flute he said mohan was singing a song while gopal was playing on a flute the all these two actions are taking place together okay and they are given in past continuous so according to this third exception uh, in rule the tense of the verb inside the inverted commas will not change hence the sentence will be he said that mohan was singing a song while gopal was playing on a flute see the uh, both the tenses here are same they did not change as they were in the direct speech same they are in indirect speech now comes pronoun change so here the pronouns which we'll be talking about they will be personal pronouns pronouns are of various types here we are talking about personal pronouns okay so personal pronouns are of three types first person pronoun second person pronoun and third person pronoun it often becomes confusing to decide which pronoun is which one okay so now as you see here in the category of first pronoun it is given i me my mine our ourselves myself everything here is related to me okay everything here is related to me so we can put it this way that i give importance to 
I give importance to me, my things, if uh, anything related to me and uh, things of my people or ourselves, myself, I keep always myself at first position. So things related to me will be first at first place. So first person pronoun. You and things related to you, I give them uh, second place in my life. So that is second person pronoun. And he, she, it, they and other names, they people are at third place in my life. So I give them third place that is third person pronoun. So this way you can uh, think, you can uh, relate that what third, uh, first person, second person and third person pronouns are. Now we'll see with the help of an example how this pronoun change takes place uh, whenever we are changing from direct speech to indirect speech okay how this pronoun change takes place now see as in the previous one you were given the differentiation between these three pronouns now we'll be changing them so before changing we have to locate where the pronouns are and what type of pronouns they are so right at the beginning of the sentence we find rohan okay if we talk this noun in the terms of pronoun then this we can call it third person pronoun now said to her this is also pronoun this also is third person pronoun you this is second person do not invite me this is first person pronoun to her party this is also third person pronoun okay we got pronouns here we have first second third all the three types of pronouns we have so now before changing it is important to know uh, that the pronouns which are given in reporting verb this part is reporting verb okay in reporting verb they do not change okay pronoun given in uh, pronouns given in reporting verb do not change only the pronouns given in reported speech which is this part they change so here we have one two and three pronouns and they will change so what happens if the pronoun given in reporting uh, speech is first person pronoun if as we see here it is first person pronoun okay if it is first person pronoun then it changes according to the first noun or pronoun of the sentence okay if the pronoun given in the reported speech is first person pronoun then it changes according to the first noun or pronoun if it is second person pronoun then it changes according to the second noun or pronoun which is given here the second noun or pronoun of reporting verb and if it is third person uh, person pronoun then it does not change at all okay i will repeat here again the pronoun given in reporting verb do not change they these pronouns do not change pronouns given in reporting speech that is the part given in, in inside the inverted commas and comma they only change so if you have first person pronoun here in reported speech it changes according to the first noun or pronoun of reporting verb if it is second person pronoun then it changes according to the second noun or pronoun of reporting verb as we find here and if it is third person pronoun then there will be no change okay so this way if i change this sentence then this uh, becomes let me change it okay if i write the answer to this it will become rohan this said to become told rohan told her as this pronoun will not change so rohan told her this thing becomes that comma and inverted comma takes the form of that that you you will change according to this her that she do not will become did not she did not invite now we have first person pronoun it here we have rohan so rohan uh, is a male so we'll write here invite him to and as i have said third person pronoun no change so it will be her party 
This will be the indirect form of this sentence. Rohan said to her, You do not invite me to her party. Its indirect form will be, okay, its indirect speech will be, Rohan told her that she did not invite him to her party. Okay. We'll see this with the help of one more example. Okay. See carefully. He said to me, again, this is the reporting verb. This is reported speech. So, reporting verb pronouns, no change. Reported speech pronouns will change. So, we are not locating it here. But uh, for, our under, uh, for our understanding, let us see. This is the first noun or pronoun of the sentence and this is the second one. Okay. Now, in the reported speech, we find first pronoun, it is second person pronoun. Then we go to the next pronoun, it is third person pronoun. So, what you are told? If there is a first person pronoun, then it changes according to the first one. If there is second person pronoun, which we have got here, it will change according to the second noun or pronoun. And if it is third person pronoun, then this will not change at all. Okay. So now let us change this sentence into indirect speech. So this will become that. Said to will become told. And noun and pronoun I have already given you. And did not dance. This is simple past the simple past changes into past perfect so it will become had not danced okay so now we have uh, got what will change into what okay now let us write the answer so he said to will become told how past tenses change that will be given to you in the next video. He told me this comes here that you will change according to this one first one me. He told me that I had not danced at her wedding this will be the indirect form of this sentence okay i hope now pronoun changes clear then we have time change so if in reported uh, speech the time given is today that becomes that day if it is tonight it becomes that night if it is now then this becomes then and if it is tomorrow it becomes the next day and if it's yesterday, then it becomes the day before or the previous day. Now it comes model change or future tense change. Then we have, uh, if we have can, then it changes into could. If we have may, may changes into might, will changes into would and shall changes into should. Okay, if all these things will be in direct speech. And here in indirect speech, they will become this thing. Okay. It changes this way. And vice versa as well. Now there are a few other minor changes. This becomes that. These becomes those. Here becomes there. This is direct speech. This is indirect speech. It changes both ways. Now, next we have an example. We'll see how this uh, time change takes place. The sentence in front of us is, he said, I was interviewed yesterday and the result will arrive tomorrow. Okay, means the person is talking today. So, he said, this is reporting verb and this part inside is reported speech. So, let us find out the pronoun change. So, first pronoun which we have got, it is first person pronoun. So, it will change according to the first noun or pronoun. Then, we do not have any other pronoun in reported speech. So, fine. We are free here. This will become that. As there is no set to, so this set will remain set. It will not change into to. This will will become would. Now, we have yesterday what yesterday becomes it becomes the 
डे बिफोर और द प्रीवियस डे देन वी हैव टुमारो इट बिकम्स द नेक्स्ट डे नाउ विल राइट द आंसर सो दिस इट्स अ इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच फॉर्म इज ही सेड कॉमन इन्वर्टेड कॉम विल बी रिमूव्ड इट विल बिकम दैट he now we have was here okay was is simple past simple past changes into uh past perfect so was interviewed will become he had been interviewed these all uh, changes in past tense will be uh, given to you will be explained to you in the next video because i want to keep the video shorter for better understanding interviewed uh, the day before and the result the result would arrive the next day okay that's it this is the answer of this sentence indirect uh, form of this answer uh, sentence that was direct speech this one is indirect speech that was all for today's video for